You're very welcome back. Now, the whole world seems to have gone Black Friday crazy this week, but there may be another option close to home for consumers hunting down bargains. Yes, indeed. The falling price of sterling is seeing shoppers head north of the border in search of savings, and consumer expert Siobhan Maguire is here to investigate if it's really worth your while. Good morning, Siobhan. Good morning. Hi, Siobhan. Uh, are the trips up north back on the agenda for people, and if so, what are the factors causing it? OK, well, the, the, the last proper surge we had of shoppers going uh, north was in 2008 um, where 550 million was spent from shoppers moving or wow. going up to the north and shopping there. Uh, with sterling weakening uh, this year as a result of kind of uncertainty <coughs> over Brexit, um, the, the savings in the north are becoming more and more significant. Um, that was the factor back then and now it's, it's back in the agenda now. Yeah, yeah uh, uh, Peter Murray from the Buttercrane shopping centre in Newry, which is an hour and a half drive mm. from, from Dublin, um, said that they are now seeing in, in recent weekends a 10% increase in uh, shoppers coming up from the south uh, to take advantage of, of the, the weakened uh, pound. Um, and they now estimate that by uh, Christmas, um, 50% of all shoppers will be coming up from the south. And that, really? that was wow. the case this time last year. In 2008, when you're, you're, you're referring to yeah. the surge, I suppose, that's starting again, mm. uh, I did a piece for Ireland AM where we filled a trolley in uh, the Buttercrane Centre uh, versus a trolley here mm. of pretty much the same products. Um, the savings were to be had on booze and babies. So booze. alcohol and nappies and formula. And yeah. they were the two things that people were filling their boots with. Yeah. Is that the same? It is, absolutely. The money travel specialist, uh, number one currency, who are part of the FESCO group, did a fantastic survey um, a couple of weeks ago. And they looked at uh, three different stores. They looked at Tesco, they looked at Curry's, PC World and Smith's, um, both in the south and the north. Uh, Tesco first, um, a 12 pack of Corona beers retail down here for 19.99. The very same product, no difference whatsoever, sells for 11 euro 20 cents in Tesco in the north, which is um, a saving mm. of 43 percent. Um, the Cadbury Selection Box, which retails down here for two euro, um, it sells for just over a euro in uh, the north. It's a saving of 39 percent, one euro 12 cents on 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 that. And product. so these are items, as you say, over a basket or a trolley or several trolleys, yeah. which can add up to a hell of a lot of money. What about the, the bigger items, the, the electronics? Is there yeah. savings there? Huge savings there, um, Tommy. Uh, if we take the the, um, the Apple um, MacBook Air, for example, mm -hmm. it retails down here for 1379 in Curry's PC World. Um, it retails in the north for 925 euro. Wow. And that is a massive saving of 30%. That's huge. It's enormous. Is that, is that, that's not just exchange rate, though, is it? Surely not. It's, it's, it's a combination of exchange rate and already cheaper prices. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, in defence of the retailers here, just um, to balance, balance it up, we do have to say there's retailers in Northern Ireland who pay different rates, different rental right. agreements. They're not necessarily suffering the upward only rent agreements mm. that retailers in the South are. Yeah. Um, so that's going to have a whole, an impact. There's a whole David McWilliams epic there, series on this, there really this is. issue. But, but for, that does for, have for to be factored in. Yeah. And I suppose you need to make that ethical decision mm. of you know, do you want to try and keep jobs here in the local retailers or do you just want to go for the bargain? Yeah, I mean, that, that, that is a good point, Anna. Um, I, I, I guess from the consumer's perspective, they want to get the best value possible. Mm. Yeah. Um, the best value for uh, one particular product might be in their local um, shop or it might be in your It might yeah. be in so, so do your yeah. research, and you've definitely done your research. You've pointed to other items like an Nespresso machine, big one for the, yeah. the Christmas gift, gift list. Yeah. Savings there on that one. Oh, well, absolutely. And this would be like the, the kind of Rolls-Royce Royce version of the new Nespresso machine that retails down here for €260, Euro, but can be purchased in the north for €201, Euro, mm. which is a, a saving, I think, of 13%. So that's huge. It's enormous. Um, Smith's Toys, for example, um, and we mentioned... The trampoline. The trampoline. Yeah. <laughs> a 13-foot trampoline and enclosure. Um, uh, there's a saving of of eleven percent on that if you if you buy it, purchase it. So two twenty nine in the republic. If you want to trace back from Newry with a trampoline in the boots, yeah. Now factor well, in your petrol or your diesel well, that's it. and yeah. your time as well. Yeah, 
Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you have the, depending on where you're coming from in the country, it, you know, a couple of hours drive up, then you have to go into mm. a car park, then you have to factor in car park fees, you have to factor in fuel. Fuel is more expensive in the north at the moment. Um, but people do tend to make a bit of a day of it, don't they? Yeah. You get to see somewhere different, you go somewhere for lunch while you're there. And uh, you, you really do want to be filling the booth to, well, exactly. to, get, to make, make sense make it of, a kind of a, a, a scale thing. Yeah. Um, in, in the world of online now, um, in terms of accessing bargains in, in, in UK or indeed US, yeah. explain the whole parcel motel at Address Pal, I think it's the Ampos version. I'm not, I don't use it, I haven't used it yeah. myself. So how, how does that work? Well, I have used Parcel Motel and it's, I find it quite good, except if I have to return something, then it becomes a little bit complicated right. and, and a little bit of a pain. But for the most part, it's very useful. Um, usually costs between three euro and six euro. So essentially what that means, and, and this would apply to deals in the North at the moment. If you see something online in the North that is much cheaper and you want to buy it. Um, there are restrictions on it being delivered to the Republic at the moment. The way around it is to use the parcel motel mm -hmm. because then you're getting it delivered to that address, um, the parcel motel address. You just pick it up mm. and you've which, got your which is just at, an at, individual at box, or... like a little vault at a at petrol, a petrol station. station. Exactly. You have yeah. your code, you scan the code. Yeah, yeah. And on post, do their own version as well uh, where you pick it up in your local post office. So there are, there are um, other ways ways to, uh, around the fact of, of if you're shopping online and can't buy that product yeah. because you're in the Republic, there are ways around it. Key message is though, bargains to be had in the North. Do your research though, figure out if it makes sense, and if you can be bothered with the hassle. Oh, well, <laughs> absolutely, Tommy. And also yeah. remember that you are dealing with a different yeah. currency and, there will be, and two rates will apply buying and selling of, of, of the pound. So technology, the bargains are in technology. Um, in those fancy gadgets, I suppose. Yeah. And people do shop around yeah. for things like that, don't they? Yeah, do your research. Yeah. Brilliant. So the laptops, phones in, in the electronic items are, are much cheaper. Great Brilliant. stuff, Siobhan. Thanks for that this morning. Thank right. you. Thank you. Still to come, we've got that songwriter extraordinaire Phil Coulter. He's here and we're finishing our winter warmer stew. Get smells hungry, good, doesn't it? Plus, we've capsule pieces in fashion and a look at the best of the week's TV coming up. See you soon.